Today, we continue talking about money in English. You will learn new expressions, and I'll give you some advice on how to save money. And with a fun mini story, you will improve your English fluency. It's like having a conversation with another person in English. Welcome to Speak English Now podcast with your host Georgiana. The podcast that will help you to speak English fluently with no grammar and no textbooks. Hi, I'm Georgiana, your English teacher, and my mission is to help you speak English fluently. And do you know how you can help me? You can share the podcast with your friends and family. That would mean a lot. Thanks. Before we start, get the transcript at speakenglishpodcast.com slash podcast. Okay, let's start. Number one. Money doesn't grow on trees. We use this phrase to warn people that money is a limited resource and should not be wasted. Example. When I told my five-year-old son that I couldn't buy him a toy because money doesn't grow on trees, he told me to use my credit card instead. Number two, a penny saved is a penny earned. Although many families today live on credit, it is always wise to put some money aside. We use this expression to say that saving money is a good idea. Example: You should always put some money aside. My grandma used to say that a penny saved is a penny earned. Number three: Flat broke. And if you never save and spend all your money. You become flat broke. For example, it's been two years since I lost my job. Now I'm looking for a new one because I've spent all my money and I'm flat broke. Number four. Live from hand to mouth. This idiom means having only enough money to live on. Not having money to spare or save any money. Example. I have bad news. I'm afraid we will have to live from hand to mouth until the end of the year. Number five. Save for a rainy day. I said before that it's always a good idea to save money, and this expression. Means to save money for when you need it. For example, last winter the boiler broke down. Thankfully, we saved for a rainy day. Number six, daylight robbery. If you really want to save money, you should compare prices and avoid shopping where prices are too high. This idiom means that something is costly. It can be an exorbitant fee for a product or service. Example: I never buy anything from this store. The prices here are daylight robbery. Okay, today we learned six new expressions. Let's listen to them one more time. Money doesn't grow on trees. A penny saved is a penny earned. Flat broke. Live from hand to mouth. Save for a rainy day. And daylight robbery. Are you having fun? Let's practice speaking. With a fun mini story.
These exercises are always excellent for improving fluency. The goal is for you to answer without mentally translating it into your native language. That's why I recommend short and quick answers. You can pause if necessary. Come on, let's get started. Although money doesn't grow on trees, Francis was so rich, it seemed he was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Francis, do you grow money on a farm? No, no, I don't grow money on a farm. Does money grow on trees? No, no, money doesn't grow on trees. Francis, are you poor? No, no, I'm rich. I'm really wealthy. Were you born with a golden spoon in your mouth? No, I wasn't born with a golden spoon in my mouth, nor a silver one. It's an expression saying someone was born into a wealthy family. His whole family members were bankers. Therefore, he didn't need to work. In other words, to bring home the bacon. Were your family members farmers? No, no, they weren't farmers. Were they bankers? Yes, my family members were bankers. Did you need to work? No, no, I didn't need to work or bring home the bacon. I didn't need to earn money so my family could get by. Do you love bacon? Yes, I love bacon, but I don't need to bring home the bacon for my family to get by. Francis was so rich that he could buy anything without going flat broke. Who was rich? Francis, were you rich? Yes, I had a great deal of money. I was rich. Could you buy anything? Yes, I was so rich, I could buy anything. Who went flat broke? Did you go flat broke? No, no, I didn't go flat broke. I could buy anything without going flat broke. I had enough money. Francis did not save for a rainy day, but smoked Cuban cigars and lit them with hundred-dollar bills. Francis, did you save any money? No, no, I didn't save any money. Did you save for a sunny day?
No, no, I didn't save for a sunny day or a rainy day. Did you smoke on a rainy day? No, no, I didn't smoke on a rainy day. I smoked Cuban cigars. What did you use to light the cigars? Hundred dollar bills. I lit the cigars with hundred dollar bills. Francis gladly helped those who didn't have enough money to live on, who lived from hand to mouth. Did you help anybody? Yes, I helped other people. How did you help those who only had enough money to live on? Gladly, I gladly helped those who only had enough money to live on. Who lived from hand to mouth? Your family members? No, no. My family members didn't live from hand to mouth. They were wealthy. We helped those who lived from hand to mouth. During a major crisis, Francis Banks granted loans at 0% interest to all small businesses. Francis, did your banks steal from people? No, no, my banks didn't steal from anybody. We granted loans. What kind of loans did you grant? At 50% interest? No, no, not at 50% interest. We granted loans at 0% interest. To whom did you grant loans? To your friends? No, we granted 0% interest loans to all small businesses. Francis is an excellent example that money talks, and sometimes for a good cause. Thanks to Francis, small businesses could survive until the crisis ended. Okay, that's the end of this short exercise. If you find it difficult, that's normal. I recommend you repeat it several times, and if you want, on several different days. As you can see, through questions and answers, you can practice and improve your speech, just like in a real conversation. It is one of the techniques that I use in my premium courses. I recommend you to take a look at speakenglishpodcast.com slash courses. Okay. We have reached the end of this episode. Repetition will help you improve your English fluency. So make sure you listen to my podcast episode several times. See you soon. Bye-bye. Did you enjoy today's episode? Get the transcript now at speakenglishpodcast.com.